This is a question to open air preacher and also to all those who believe in free will. I posted this question to open air preacher three times and he erased it all three times. So I want to pose it in a video that can't be erased. How many times have I heard that the God of Calvinism is a devil? Because we believe God ordains all things and that includes evil. So usually there is a list of horrible sins such as rape, murder, child molesting, etc. Trying to shame me and fellow Calvinists into seeing how evil that makes our God. Well the first thing I want to say up front is God is good. No matter how we look at it, God is good. Now that having been said, I want those of you who believe in free will to stop and think about what you believe. I want you to see that your idea of free will does not make God good, and it does not answer the question of why evil is in the world. This video is not to address why evil is in the world, but get those of you who believe in free will to think. Okay, fact number one, evil is in and part of this world. Number two, God is all-powerful. Number three, God does not stop evil. Number four, if God is all-powerful, then he chooses not to stop evil. Number five, here is the question. Are you going to tell me it is a good thing for God not to stop rape, murder, babies being slaughtered, just so you can have free will to love him. Is God so insecure that he needs your free will love? Is this really a good enough reason for all those horrible things that go on in this world? Let me give an example. A lifeguard that would let a boy drown just because he chooses not to save him would be called a murderer. But it is even worse with God, because God could make the boy a better swimmer, or the ocean less rough. God's ability far outweighs the ability of the lifeguard. So if a lifeguard that stands by and lets a boy drown is a murderer, where does that leave God? This goes way beyond what free will can answer. Now let's deal with evil sinful crimes against other people. Does God really have to stand by and allow an innocent child to be molested or a helpless woman to be raped and murdered for free will to stand? I say no. Remember, God has the power to stop it if he so chooses, but he chooses not to. God can hold us accountable for our motives, lust in the heart or hate. Jesus taught this in Matthew chapter 5. Could God not look into the heart and see the lust and judge a man, then stop him from committing the act? Why should the innocent suffer for what is in the heart of an evil man when God knows it? So for free will to stand, a man can have rape, murder, all kinds of evil in his heart with every intention of committing the act. He has made his free will choice. God can judge him right there. And that's the end of it. But God chooses to allow him to go ahead and commit the evil deed. I am sorry, but free will does not let God off the hook for evil. We can keep asking the question, but why? And the buck stops at God, no matter how you try to look at it. I want to try to do a video on why evil is here, but that will be later. My goal with this video is to make you think. God bless.